JCK show in Las Vegas, Nevada, um, hosted here at the Mandalay Bay. We're talking with Amy Clark, and she is the inventor of the Jewel Jet. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the Jewel Jet, Amy? This is the second generation Jewel Jet. The first one was incredibly well received. The newest one is black and silver, has many more safety features, has much more power, and I think a prettier look. Yeah, it's gorgeous underneath here is to catch diamonds if they happen to come loose and anything that might happen to come loose from the uh, mounting as it's steamed although that rarely happens you want to catch it if it does if you have uh, a stone that's already loose from everyday wear the jewel jet will not and no steamer will actually push a stone out that wasn't already going to come out so if you get it to push out in the basket you can at least save it to take it back to the jeweler to have it put in. Right, and that, that would be much better to do that than to lose it out on the road or someplace where exactly. you'll never be able to recover that stone. Yeah. Yeah, so, so you know. You want this... it in the basket, not out in Never Neverland. So, yeah, that's a, that's a wonderful idea. That, and another, you know, good, good reason for cleaning your jewelry, if you clean that right there and it's, it, you've got a loose stone, it's going to fall out. Again, I would much rather have it fall out in that basket than somewhere on the floor where I can't take it to my jeweler to get replaced. Exactly. Good. Okay. Is also the catch cup that if any excess steam or uh, condensation of steam turns into water, drops in here so you don't have to have a towel underneath it. The max fill line tells you how much water is actually going to go in there. It only holds eight ounces. So you want to make sure you don't overfill it or it will spill. It will spit out at you. The Jewel Jet also has a rating of 45 pounds of pressure, so it's got good enough pressure to do the work, but not so much to, that it would harm anything or anyone. That keeps it safer. When you press the button, you can actually put your hand under here and it's not too hot. Oh, okay. It's hot when you get up close to the nozzle, but the nozzle stays cool as well. The nozzle um, doesn't heat up. So you can't accidentally touch that and burn yourself but you know that if you're holding this in the tweezers and you steam it off, you're far enough away to make it safe. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. How easy is it to clean your jewelry with it? It's very easy. You just pick up the jewelry, put it in the tweezers, and the new tweezers have um, extra padding over the tweezers that were in before. And it has a locking feature that all you have to do is put your jewelry in, Grip it down and then slide it forward, and you're wow! So that eliminates in. cramping of the hands. Yes, it does. It makes That's it a whole nice. lot easier to do multiple pieces of jewelry. It comes with those tweezers, huh? It does. All you have to do is press the uh, steam button when the blue light is on. It'll be a steady blue light. It also has LED lights underneath that wow, help you see. Wow, that makes it nice. Help you see the jewelry a little more clearly as you're steaming. So you just. Press the button, wow. steam it off, and it dries quicker too than regular jewelry cleaners because it's hot. It dries it off almost instantly when you take it off. What are, what are some of the things that make our jewelry gunky that we're getting off with the Jewel Jet? Well, as you're wearing them, you'll get hand oils on them, you'll get soap scums, you'll get uh, lotions. Um, just about anything that you go through life doing is going to cause. Um, it's going to cause uh, dirt and things to keep it from being as shiny and beautiful as it could be. What about bacteria and germs and stuff too? And those things will definitely grow. Some people leave their jewelry uncleaned for many, many months and it's just not sanitized at all. And the Jewel Jet will take all of that out of there and sanitize it, make it look perfectly nice and perfectly clean. And you want to concentrate on the back of the stones first so that you can get it nice and clean on the back side because that's where most of it collects. Right. And then you steam off the top to finish it. That's sanitizing and cleaning other things. I mean, is it just jewelry that the Jewel Jet can clean? No, you can clean anything that will fit under here. You can clean and sanitize it. A toothbrush is a really good example. It fits perfectly. You just want to steam off your brush, get all the little nooks and crannies free of bacteria and gunk. That fast, huh? That fast. That's great, because I, you know, I know that that they say that most toothbrushes will last anywhere from three to six months, 
But every time we get a cold, every time we get, you know, gum disease or something like that or infections, you know, it's best to just toss them so we don't get sick. Mm -hmm. But but by doing this, I mean, we're not you, tossing out four or five bucks a pop. Right. You could actually redo your toothbrush uh, many times and save it and just throw it away when it starts to splay. Yeah, instead it, of which when is like sick. six months. Now, you yeah. figure an average family of three, if they're replacing their toothbrush every time they, you know, get sick yeah. or bacteria on there, that's a lot of money that they're saving. Yeah, and this will clean up quick and easy. Wow. That's nice. I like that. Well, what else can it sanitize? You can also sanitize combs and brushes. If you've got um, combs and brushes that you use every day, and you know how the combs get the little gunky oh, edge yeah, on them? Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you can just steam it right off, get all that little gunk out of there, and sanitize it, and you're ready to wow. go again. Yeah, because I know. I mean, at restaurants, they make them protect their hair from... Getting in yeah, your food. Yeah, because it's dirty. And and we and then we brush our hair with our brushes and combs, and we never really clean those. Right. So yeah, what a wonderful idea for this. Yeah, it's definitely it's good for sanitizing. Steam in general is good for sanitizing, and the Jewel Jet is just really handy to have because it's compact and quick to use. It heats up in less than three minutes. Good location in the house to place the Jewel Jet. I would have it in the kitchen or the bathroom where if you're cooking with something and you get something on your jewelry, you know that at the end of your cooking you can clean off your jewelry easily. You know, you could could the jewel jet actually clean and sanitize flatware also? It could. It could. Wow. So that's nice. I mean this is just one multi purpose unit. And I would think if it was in the bathroom then you could sanitize your your brushes, yes. your combs, your toothbrushes. You know, get ready for work and hit your jewelry one quick time before you get ready to go and you've got everything fresh, clean, sanitized, and looking good. That's right. Wow. Heading well, out the door sparkling. Thank you very much, Amy. You're welcome. Quick and easy to use. I mean, one of the things that I worry about with electronic devices, you know, like when I'm ironing clothes and things like that, I'm the worry wart that when I leave the house that I forgot and I left it on. Yes, and this one has an automatic shut off after 10 minutes of non-use. If you don't push this button for 10 minutes, it will automatically shut down. Wow. And you won't have to worry about that. That's great. Now, if it does shut off on you and you want to use it again, tap the button and it starts up again. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's a smart unit. It's a smart unit. Good. Since we're dealing with something that, you know, has hot water and pressure and steam and, you know, what's the chance of that top blowing off of there? Not at all. This top is very safe. It is a... A unique design that will not open when there's steam under it. So wow. as long as there's pressure on the bottom, it won't, won't unscrew at all. So it just keeps spinning it until truly, it cools down enough to pull off. That truly is a smart unit. Yeah, it's a, Well, it's it sounds good. like this is the smart buy at the show this weekend. It is definitely the smartest buy. Good. Well, thank you and good luck. Thank you.